The next example states, we have a patient who is set to receive 200 units of Humulin R U500, and this is insulin. We need to determine the amount to administer and then choose the syringe that we will be using. The first thing to notice is that once again we are talking about insulin, and not just any type of insulin, but U500 insulin. So, so far in our module, we have seen U100 insulin. And when we had U100 insulin, all we needed to do was to find the number of units, so determine the units, find the number of units, and mark that on a U100 syringe. And what we found was with U100, there were no conversions needed because we were dealing with syringes that were specifically calibrated for U100. And a common mistake with U100 is to convert that into milliliters and use a milliliter syringe, but that wasn't appropriate because we are using U100 syringes. With U500, it's a little bit different. U500 is a significantly more concentrated type of insulin, specifically where we are dealing with 500 units per ml. So in this example, or when we're dealing with U500, that's 500 units per 1 ml. Now recently, they did, uh, meaning the pharmaceutical companies, begin to create U500 calibrated syringes. However, we have been instructed to continue in this course to teach that instead of using the U500 calibrated syringes, what we will need to do with U500 is to convert the units, the units into mLs. And instead of using a calibrated syringe, we're going to use a 1 milliliter TB syringe. So you can see, depending on the, the type of insulin, if it's U500 versus U100, two very different procedures. So in this example, we were told the patient needs to receive 200 units of U500. We need to convert this into milliliters because it's U500. So this is done using any of the methods that we've learned so far in this course. So if we were to use the nursing formula, desired over half times quantity, we would have the desired amount to administer is 200 units. The, what we have available is 500 units, and we'll multiply that times the quantity that's contained in, which is 1 ml, and we would get 0 0.4 ml. The units would cancel, we would have ml. If you were to use dimensional analysis, you would start with what you need to convert, so 200 units, and we want to convert units into ml, and U500 is 500 units for 1 ml. Once again, we see if we take 200 times 1 divided by 500, you get 0 0.4 ml. And finally, if I were to use a proportion, we know that the strength of this insulin is 500 units for 1 ml, we are administering 200 units. How many mLs is this? And if you were to cross multiply, once again, you would get x equal to 0 0.4, so 0 0.4 mL. I skipped some steps there, but if you were to cross multiply or use any of the proportional reasoning strategies that we learned earlier in the course, you would still get this unknown quantity to be 0 0.4. So in all of these cases, we get the amount to administer is 0 0.4 milliliters. And we need to choose the correct syringe. We're not going to be using a syringe that's calibrated for any units. We're actually going to be using a one milliliter TB syringe. So we have this syringe that we'll be using. And I want to mark 0 0.4. Here's 0 0.4 right here. So I'm going to mark 0 0.4 mLs very clearly. I will shade up to that point, and that's it. So just to once again summarize, we are dealing with insulin, but it's U500. And with U500, we do need to do a short conversion into M mLs and use the TB syringe. This is different than U100, when we have no calculations or conversions needed just to choose the correct syringe and mark the number of units.